What's up, Epic Gamers? Or should I say Epic TikTokers? Okay, I'm, I just... I just died of cringe. I'm not... Okay, guys, I'm sorry. Let's do that again. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is what I'm going to be doing for today's video, or more specifically, what I'm gonna be doing for the next 24 hours. I am going to be making TikToks. Am I too old for this? Absolutely. Why am I doing this? Because content. And also I've been on that quote unquote TikTok grind, which I really haven't. I've definitely been on TikTok a lot. I know there's some people who give TikTok a lot of hate, saying it's a dumb app, it's a waste of time, which part of that is true with whatever like part of TikTok you're watching. But see, there's some really like good content on TikTok that I come across on my For You page. So for the next 24 hours, I'm going to be making, creating, filming as many TikToks as I can. And some people think filming TikToks is easy, which that can be true. Sometimes there is a creative process behind making a TikTok. So some of those people are like, oh, it took me like three hours to film this TikTok. I have experienced that before. There has been TikToks that have taken me an hour. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but with like, transitions and like adjusting the clips and laying over music this i know this sounds completely ludicrous but sometimes it takes like forever to film a tiktok so i'm not going to really set like a number of how many tiktoks i want to film in 24 hours because i believe in quality over quantity so my goal is just to film as many TikToks as I can that are actually high quality trash instead of a quantity of trash. So that is really my goal I am trying to reach here. This should be very interesting and very entertaining for you all. I probably will just do it more vlog style. I am not prepared for this, but when am I ever prepared for anything? So. I've talked enough, we're just gonna dive right in to the world of making TikToks. Let's do this. So I just got into TikTok and I already know what I'm gonna film for my first video. I just saw a TikTok from Mr. Beast. Basically what he's saying is whoever has the most likes using this audio, he's gonna give 10 grand to. I think what I'm gonna do with this audio is just sit there while the audio is playing and I'm gonna put text above me that says I'm a teacher and I think it'd be super awesome if I could use this money if I want it, use it into my classroom like for funding and also like getting my kids uh, new textbooks, new school supplies. Probably won't get that many likes, but you know, it's worth a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. In exactly seven days, whoever uses the audio from this TikTok and has the most likes will win $10,000. No joke, take the audio from this TikTok, do whatever the hell you want, I don't care how weird it is, and whoever has the most likes gets 10 grand. Good luck. By the time this YouTube video that y'all are watching now is out, the challenge will still be going on. So y'all should go onto TikTok, give that video a like that I just posted. That would mean the world to me. Enough about that, let's go on to the next TikTok. The next TikTok I wanna film is actually, it's gonna be my audition tape for Outer Banks. It's not gonna be a serious one. I mean, that would be cool if Netflix saw it and was like, oh, hey, we should cast this girl in the second season. I low-key, more like high-key binge-watched Outer Banks these past couple of days. I was up till like two this morning <laughs> watching it. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that, but guys, it's so good. I just thought it'd be fun to do a TikTok where I'm like auditioning because there's just so many like memeable quotes and things that happened in Outer Banks. I'm going to choose an outfit, look like a real pogue. For those of you who watch Outer Banks, you know exactly what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my closet and pick out an outfit and get back to y'all. This is the outfit. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous, but I went ahead and put like a, a cap on with a bandana and I have a little coin necklace that I think is super like vintage. Yes, I'm wearing the classic uh, 
banana shirt and then I put some shorts on and then long socks. I'm gonna put some Vans on and we are going to try to do this audition tape. So we will see how it goes. It should be interesting. Guys, it is so hot out here. I'm, I'm gonna die of a heat stroke. This is where I'm gonna film. If you've never seen Outer Banks, none of this is gonna make sense, so enjoy. All right, set up my phone and I'm good to go. This is my audition for Outer Banks season two. Hurricane Agatha really did a number. Are you guys gonna help me or not? done so many takes. So I just finished filming my audition tape or whatever, but I think I'm going to also film an alternative video in case that one didn't work out. This is my audition for Outer Banks season two. JJ, did you seriously bring the gun? JJ, put the gun away. No, no. JJ, put the gun down. Pope, shut up. Can you just trust me for once? Shut up. Why is Sarah even here? She's not a pogue. Pogue life. I'm a pogue. Hurricane Agatha really did a number. Are you guys gonna help me or not? Ah, uh, John B. No pogue on pogue macking. You know the rules. So this is the alternative video that I filmed acting like I was a character in Outer Banks. If you want to see the final product, you can go to TikTok. It had copyright music, so I couldn't play it in here. I'm gonna take a few seconds to cool down because it it's like 90 degrees outside and I was out there for probably about half an hour. But the next TikTok I think I'm gonna film is with Elise. All right, I'm forcing Elise to do a TikTok with me. She has no idea what it is, so. <laughs> Any words? Let's do this. Let's do this. Elise, I need you to put this on your cheek. Eden, I've seen this TikTok. <laughs> you can't you can't fool me. I said your cheek, you moron. I I've seen this TikTok. Oh should I just cut it there, you moron? Yeah. That was probably by far the easiest TikTok I have ever filmed. We just did one take and we were done, which I mean it had to be one take because she didn't know what I was doing. Elise, I need you to put this on your cheek. Eden, I've seen this TikTok. <laughs> you can't you can't fool me. I said your cheek, you moron. I... So I've been scrolling through TikTok trying to get inspiration of what I want to film next. I think I might do a couple point of views. Not me doing the point of view, but me like reacting or like playing along to the point of views because those are always fun and plus they're super easy to film. I'm gonna find some POVs and knock a couple of TikToks out. I found a point of view to do. It's gonna be so cringy, but those are the best. So got my, my earbuds in. Let's do this thing. This is not gonna make any sense because you can't hear it, but just, just trust me on this. Calvin, you good, you good buddy? Kinda sweaty. Do you need a towelette? Calvin, I have something to admit. I have loved you. Oh, snap. No! Guys, I recorded that whole thing and I forgot to put my boy up. Dang it. I just filmed this TikTok and I forgot to put like my audio in it. So like you can't hear anything I'm saying so it didn't work so I have to refilm it. This is the point of view that I did. Again, it has copyright music over it. So if you wanna check it out, you can go onto TikTok. I just found the perfect point of view TikTok to do and it has to do with singing Riptide. This one is going to be epic cause it has to do with Riptide and uh, the point of view who's doing it, he's outside, so I'm gonna go outside and, and do this. I really hope my neighbors do not hear me singing, so that they probably will, but it's fine. Of course, when I'm trying to film my TikTok outside, sirens are going off. This, this always happens to me. <laughs> okay, I did a couple different takes and I think one of them will work. This POV also had copyright music over it, so you can check out the full video on TikTok. I feel like a greasy rat from being outside and I wasn't even outside that much. I only filmed two TikToks out there, but I still feel gross. I came to my room because I'm trying to get inspiration of what I could do next. You will not believe what I just found in one of my drawers. 
pop rocks. I am somehow gonna use them for a TikTok. Here we go, gonna film the pop rock video. I just found pop rocks in one of my drawers from like elementary school. These bad boys are probably expired, but we're gonna see if they still work. I have not had these since I was a kid, so this is like super exciting for me right now. Okay, here we go. I'm making a mess all over my counter, but guys, this is, oh my gosh, I cannot believe they're still sizzling. A taste of explosion. I'm gonna come in and just dump the rest in my mouth. It's still like in my mouth and I made such a mess. Look at this guys, but that had to be a one and done take cause I don't have any more pop rocks. So hopefully we got a good take. I just found pop rocks in one of my drawers from like elementary school. These bad boys are probably expired, but we're gonna see if they still work. I have not had these since I was a kid. So this is like super exciting for me right now. Okay, here we go. I'm making a mess all over my counter, but guys, this is, oh my gosh, I cannot believe they're still sizzling. A taste of explosion. I'm gonna come in and just dump the rest in my mouth. So I just went to the bathroom and I surprisingly got some inspiration while on the toilet. So I was thinking I'd be standing in the bathroom staring at the toilet and I have never had this happen to me before but it's always a terrifying thought of when you go to the bathroom at like maybe it's an acquaintance's house or like a party or like a small group of people but you don't really know the person whose house you're over it and you clog the toilet and there's not a plunger in the bathroom. I have always had a fear of doing that, going over to someone's house I barely know. Like, what if I get the urge and need to go and then I plug up the toilet? I think I'm gonna film a TikTok with that scenario. I think it'll be funny and super relatable. So I'm gonna wear my a banana shirt for this one, going back to the Outer Banks outfit. I'm just gonna place my phone around the bathroom to get different shots. It will make sense in the end. We are back at it again with copyright music, hence the voiceover. So I just did different shots standing by the toilet. And then the final TikTok that I filmed played the music where Rihanna sings just going to stand there and I was just standing there by the toilet terrified. Next TikTok that I'm going to attempt is a nine split screen. And basically there's nine little boxes where you're filming across the screen, self-explanatory. Uh, my room's a mess, so I'm gonna clean it up real quick, but uh, I'm gonna try to like fly across it and it should turn out pretty funny. Yeah, it did not turn out funny at all. I threw my stuffed banana across and then what you're about to see next is going to haunt you forever. Oh my gosh, that's scary. I just wanted to give you guys kind of an update of where I'm at. So I've filmed a total of eight TikToks and it is almost dinner time. So I'm gonna take a real quick break to eat dinner and I'll get back on that TikTok work grind. I know eight TikToks does not seem like a lot compared to a lot of people because some people whip out like 40 TikToks in a day. I feel like these are pretty like high quality uh, TikToks that I filmed here. I'm really trying to do something. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go eat dinner and I'll see you guys in like 30 minutes. I am back. So the next TikTok is going to take place in my bathroom again. I also need Elise to help me. So I'm gonna go get her. Like stand where I would be. Like right here. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So it's gonna be up so you can't see me. So it's just gonna be you. And then can you move off to the side real quick? I just wanna see. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's just gonna be you like this. So the joke is like I ran to go tell my mom cause I didn't realize there was a filter on. I don't know if you've seen it, and then I'm gonna run, and I'm just gonna like stand here. This was a pretty dumb TikTok, in case you didn't get what I was just explaining. Basically, I had a filter on, and I acted like I was crying, running to my mom, and you could still see me in the mirror, and that's the joke. Pretty dumb. I've only been filming for like six hours, and I am just so done. <laughs> filming TikToks is exhausting. How do people film 40 in a day? I do not understand. I can barely do 10. I'm gonna go bug Elise again and see if she'll film another TikTok with me. Hey Elise, 
Will you film a TikTok with me? Yeah. Okay, good. There's a new trend where you get in front of the camera with your best friend and you make a face at the same time. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> so I'm running out of ideas of what else to do. I'm going to take some time to think of more ideas and my battery's about to die so I'm gonna charge this bad boy. Hopefully by then I will have just a plethora of ideas with content that I can film. I am back y'all and I just got done filming a TikTok yet again in the bathroom, which I'll go ahead and show you now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna teach you how to get any guy to come over and talk to you or ask you for your number or whatever. Okay, so step by step, you're gonna glance and then you're gonna look him up and down. You're gonna smirk. You're gonna smile and then get a little bit sassy and then just look away. My camera battery was charging as I filmed that, so I didn't get any footage of behind the scenes. Not that anyone cares. So I'm gonna go ahead and film yet another TikTok. What a surprise. I got Mr. Worldwide 1 and 2 and Harry Styles in the background. I got a bowl of cereal and we're gonna make magic happen. We're going to do a rant sesh with this TikTok. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately and I just realized I have friends from high school who have kids and not like two kids, like four kids. And you know, I'm just, I'm just sitting here living my best life eating cereal. And that is the tea. I'm gonna do a one and done with this. We're just gonna keep that. I think that was a good take. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately and I just realized I have friends from high school who have kids and not like two kids, like four kids. And you know, I'm just, I'm just sitting here living my best life, eating cereal and that is the tea. Just filming another TikTok. Yeah, the TikTok wasn't even that good, so I'm not gonna waste your guys' time showing it. Also, look at my face. That is a face of pure exhaustion. <laughs> Rip. I'm running out of ideas that I'm literally sitting here eating cereal, making TikToks out of it. This is ridiculous. I just thought of a new idea. So you know that trend going around on TikTok. People are making fun of Debbie Ryan, which is really sad. They're like making fun of her interviews and like mimicking them. And then they're also like making fun of Radio Rebel, which, okay, you have to admit it is kind of funny. I'm not going to be making fun of her. I, I would not do that. I am going to do something similar to what people have done where they open up their laptop and they play like a clip of something and they literally say it word for word what the person's saying, whether that's an interview or a movie clip. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it with the classic Hot Rod. If you have not seen that movie, you should watch it if you want a good laugh because it is literally the dumbest movie ever, but it will make you laugh. So I'm going to do a scene from that, the, for those of you who watch Hot Rod, the too legit to quit scene. Who cares what anyone thinks? You don't get it, do you, Denise? I used to be legit. In fact, I was too legit. I was too legit to quit, but now, I'm not legit. I'm unlegit. And for that reason, I must quit. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Hey, that was such a good day. You don't get it, do you, Denise? I used to be legit. In fact, I was too legit. I was too legit to quit. But now, I'm not legit. I'm unlegit. And for that reason, I must quit. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. I'm officially all out of ideas. I'm gonna shower and hopefully think of more creative content, but I'm getting to the point where I'm getting burnt out, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to last 24 hours. I'm gonna try my best. 
let me shower and think and hopefully things will come to my head. So something happened. If you can't tell, it's the next morning. I kind of accidentally fell asleep last night after I showered. It's officially been 24 hours since I made my first TikTok. Guys, I'm so sorry. I just got so tired last night and just, I was just so exhausted from a full day of filming, which I know might sound ridiculous to some of you young people who are like, what? You didn't even film that much. I am old, okay? I'm basically classified as a grandma. I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap up this video. So, in conclusion, I filmed a total of 15 TikToks yesterday. Is that a lot? Not really. For me it is because the most TikToks I've ever filmed in a day is, I think, three, if even that. Could I have filmed more? Absolutely. Why didn't I? Uh, because, you know, I actually don't know. I tried, okay? That's all that matters. I tried making TikToks for 24 hours, and I would say getting a full day's worth of filming is great. I'm more than happy with that. Filming into the nighttime, into this morning, I totally failed it. I will probably never film that many TikToks ever again in a day, but I will still try my best to come out with some amazing high quality trash content for y'all over there on that app. So if you are not already following me, I would really appreciate if you go support my trashy content on TikTok. So go follow me at Eden underscore Eklund. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you should also do that and just give this video a like. I have officially posted all 15 of my TikToks that I made in these 24 hours. So if you've made it to the end of this ridiculous video, you should go ahead and comment below what was your favorite TikTok that you saw, maybe the one that you thought was the cringiest or the funniest or just you enjoyed it the most. I don't know. I'd appreciate a comment. That'd be awesome. I'll go ahead and be reading through those. I'm going to go ahead and head out of here and drink the rest of my coffee. Thank you guys so much for watching and I just appreciate all the love and support you have given me so far on my YouTube channel. So thank you for that. Have a fantastic day. I love y'all. Bye. I'm too old for this. Okay, time to go film another TikTok.